Welcome back to the show, everybody. A couple weeks ago, InBike reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to do a review on one of their cycling jerseys. Um, I agreed to it. They sent it right out. And over the past month, I've been wearing it on pretty much all of my rides. So I got a chance to test this jersey in southern Colorado, as well as on the east coast in Pennsylvania in the humidity. Um, I wanted to do a pretty good review. I didn't just want to take it around the block and say how I felt about it. So I feel like I really put it through the test and I have 550 miles on this jersey. Right off the bat, it's very comfortable. It's made out of a moisture wicking, sun resistant fabric. It dries fast and it absolutely keeps you cool in hot weather. This specific jersey is for riding in hot weather or extreme heat. It has three pockets in the rear that are very functional. Uh, there's no trouble getting in and out of it, uh, whether your phone, camera, or water are in the uh, back pockets. Um, easy to access, pretty flashy jersey really. Around the base of this jersey guys is the anti-slip silicone material. Um, really prevents from riding up. Uh, this jersey really stayed attached to my shorts or down low, wasn't riding up in the back or anything like that. I typically don't ride in jerseys, but I do own two. I have two Pearl Izumi jerseys, you know, standard three pockets in the back and they're sleeveless. And I really only wear jerseys when it's really hot. That's why when I saw this jersey, it was made for hot weather and it had sleeves. I figured, you know, this was a good shot to try out a jersey with sleeves. So I'm always concerned with like sleeves riding up. So I figured I would just eliminate them uh, on my other jerseys and it would be a little bit lighter, you know, not that weight is really a major factor with these. But um, so far, so good, you know, 550 miles in this jersey. Uh, the sleeves are great. They stay tight to your arms. They don't ride up at all. Like they're actually a little bit tough to even pull up if you wanted to move them up. As far as the stretchy hem, it absolutely stays down. I had no problem with it riding up or anything like that. Um, it's a really light material. Absolutely keeps you cool in the heat. I had this in 100 degrees down here in Southern Colorado and up in Pennsylvania in the 80s, but the, but the humidity percentage level was much, much higher. Definitely getting back from the ride, sweaty and sticky from the humidity, but really the jersey kept me cool and comfortable the entire ride. Pockets in the rear are super functional, and you know I think it's a pretty flashy jersey, guys, and uh, for 40 bucks, you could pick one up as well. I will be carrying this in-bike jersey with me on the Great Divide mountain bike route. Um, and I'll be leaving for that trip in just a couple days. I just want to say this is a great jersey. I, I think for an affordable price. Yeah, this is going to be an essential part of my gear. Uh, I am carrying another shirt. It's more of a hiking shirt. If, you, if you've been watching my channel, guys, you can probably tell that I, I generally ride in hiking clothing. It just seems to be more comfortable for me. I do have some jerseys. I do wear, I do wear like wear shorts and and stuff like that. It does apply from time to time, but. You know, like I said, it's basically just about the heat for me. So I'm um, looking forward to trying out this jersey uh, from Canada to Mexico. Uh, this is definitely going to be an essential piece of gear for me coming through southern Idaho as well as Wyoming through the Great Basin. Um, I, I really I plan on having a lot of hot days absolutely down in, uh, like I'd say, south of Salida, Colorado, um, all the way to the Mexican border. I, I'm, I'm just seeing a lot of heat a lot of open stretches so hopefully this jersey makes me a little quicker and keeps me uh, as cool as possible but um, I like that you know I like the sleeves because of the sun coverage and um, I don't know this is just a quality jersey I will say guys that, that the zipper is on the left um, it's not necessarily a women's but more of a European design I you know I, that's easy to get used to my, my Pearl Azumis are on the right and everything I own is on the right but you know it's just a one thing to get used to, but it's really not a problem. I don't even I don't even really notice it now when I put it on. So anyway, guys, you will be seeing this jersey many, many more times. I'll keep you posted on the jersey and let you know if it continues to work out for me. And I mean, testing out a jersey on such a big trip as this, uh, thousands of miles of gravel road, I could probably give uh, one heck of a review when I get back. So anyway, guys, stay tuned and we'll see you out on the road.